the new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie is out. And, uh, well, we're going to talk exactly why parents should not let their kids watch this movie. And I'm sure that I'm going to get a ton of backlash over this and probably from a lot of Christians too. But that's okay. We'll get into all the details here in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you hit the like button, share the video, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness movie is out. And, you know, this obsession with the occult, witchcraft, spells, sorcery, tarot cards, all of it the Bible clearly clearly tells us is wrong and to stay away from. We can just read the book of Deuteronomy. But Doctor Strange, the new the new movie, takes things in a little bit of a different direction. You see, these characters are portrayed as the heroes, the good guys. And this is something that kids go and watch and they see this and think it's perfectly fine. We can be involved with this wizardry and this sorcery and everything else. And Doctor Strange, what a good guy he is, right? You know, I, I did a video a couple days ago. Some of you might have watched this. And it was about McDonald's and how they teamed up with a, uh, a, a tarot card reader. This is a whole promotion they had about Mercury and Retrograde and how, you know, if you use their app and you purchased a medium order of fries, you would get a you know, like a, a McChicken or a McDouble, and then you'd also get a tarot card. But if you went uh, to this um, either TikTok or Instagram, you could uh, put your submissions in with this uh, tarot card reader, and he would give you your fate, your your future. He would read this. And I, if you missed it, go watch the video. And, and particularly pay attention to the comment section on that video because I, I even have people who are Christians who defended it. And I said that that would probably happen. There are Christians that are, are, for whatever reason, they defend this sort of thing. They think it's okay. They think it's fun to get involved with astrology and zodiac signs and all of that and this and that. No, stay away from the appearance of all evil is what the Bible says. But people are going to do what they want. But check that video. I think it's very interesting. And again, read the comment section on it. But then again, let's bring it back around here to Doctor Strange. And there was, I'm gonna get to a particular scene in the movie that I wanna, I wanna reference here. Uh, Cause talk about blasphemous. But before I even do that, there were some new revelations that came out. And you know, it was funny. I had planned to talk about this sooner than I am now, but kind of glad I waited because <laughs> talk about timing with the movie, right? You have one of the stars of, you know, the Doctor Strange fr franchise here. Uh, Zara Farian was arrested with her husband and convicted of child sexual misdeeds. Multiple counts, by the way, that go back years and years. <laughs> now... Zara's character was not in the latest Doctor Strange movie here, in the Multiverse of Madness. But nevertheless, still, a horrible look. You look at Marvel and Disney and all of them and how they've just been rallying for the Rainbow People and everything with the Florida Bill and all that. Oh, this is just a really bad look. It's a really bad look. So, you got one of the uh, the actresses here associated with the film involved in this and has now been arrested. Yeah. Uh, tells you a lot, doesn't it? Let's talk about the specific scene now from the movie. Where Doctor Strange... Again, they're, they're doing all sorts of spells or casting spells and everything throughout this entire thing. Again, remember, they're the heroes. And what's odd, too, is that Throughout, the, you know, the, the bad guys in this, they even give them little little hints of, of, of Christian elements in their characters to, to make sure that they're they're the bad guys. Oh, see, see, see what they like to do? They like to, what do they do? Demonize the Christians, right? You know, the Bible says very specifically, evil will be good and good will be called evil in the last days. It's played out right before you here in Doctor Strange. So what does he do? He's got a glass of water in front of him waves his hand around, he's doing the spell, and all of a sudden, 
the water turns into wine. Oh, sounds very similar to what Jesus did, right? When he turned the water into wine. So Dr. Strange is now being compared to Jesus Christ. Blasphemy, ladies and gentlemen. Pure blasphemy. This is a, a sorcerer here, which the Bible tells us to stay away from and warns us of that. But this is, no, no, no. This is paraded around as something good for kids to watch. These are the new superheroes that you can get behind. <laughs> and, and parents, unfortunately, a lot of times they just don't know. They let their kids go see these movies. They take it. You know, they take them to the movies. They want to go, oh, let's go see the new Doctor Strange movie. And then all of a sudden, all of this comes onto the screen. So what you don't know is that when you get involved in this, and I'm sure there's people out there that can attest. I know many people that have been involved in the occult lifestyle and the practices and the, you know, all of this stuff. And, and thankfully, they're able to come out of it. They find Christ throughout the whole thing. They come out and they're able to, you know, tell you, stay out of this. This is not a world that you want to get involved in. But... All of a sudden, what happens then? They go see these movies, and then they start researching it more online. They want to start getting more involved with it. How can I cast a spell? How can I do what these characters on Doctor Strange are doing? And then that becomes embedded into them, and then all of a sudden, they fall into that darkness, and it will destroy them. So the whole goal of what Satan wants, his whole goal, what is it, ladies and gentlemen, to steal, kill, and destroy? He's doing all of that right now in this generation. And this trash is paraded around as something good. And it, look, again, I'll get backlash over this again. Prior from Christians, I bet 90% of the reaction I get to this video will probably be negative. But that's fine. Shows you where the world is right now. I'd rather, you know, say the truth and have only maybe one or two people agree with me, you know, than just, you know, be silent about it and, and just, you know, be, you know, affirming. And no, I don't want to hurt people's feelings on this. I mean, more people that are willing to say the truth here in the last days. Time is short. We can't afford to just let this stuff go out there without saying a word about it. And I want to hear this, oh, you can't judge this stuff. No, we're to call out darkness for what it is. And that's exactly what Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness is. You get involved in this world, you're going to have some madness in your life. Let me tell you that right now. I'll have more on this for you guys down below here in the description. You can check it out. If you guys enjoy these daily videos I do talk about end time Bible prophecy headlines. You want to help support the ministry, you can do so. Click the link to my PayPal in the description or sign up on my Patreon for five bucks a month and you do that. You'll be alerted for all the content I put out. You can't rely on YT to give you notifications on any of the videos I do anymore. I am pretty much censored on all levels. You can also leave your comments there completely censor free, censorship free if you'd like to do that. Uh, again, all the links are down below. A big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. As always, though, we're not done yet. Stick with me. We never want to leave any video without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, if you're watching this video right now and you've yet to do that, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ. This, I mean, talk about you know, the last of the last days. We're here. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. Here's the first thing you want to do. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of that sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before him, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk really soon.